Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotex Sessions team. I am Sanjay. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about how to make backup databases using MySQL dump tool. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about PHP frameworks and the JavaScript tutorials. So what basically MySQL dump tool is? So for that, we have a slide for that. So what is MySQL dump? MySQL GUI tool such as phpMyAdmin, SQL log and etc often provides feature for backup MySQL databases with easy and simplest way. What basically it means? It means that if you back to our browser, now this is our phpMyAdmin. Suppose in case if we want to export all the databases or if you want to export only a single database. In some cases we want data should be exported or in some cases we want that only structure with no database with no data actually we want to export. So how can we export all these functions by using our command. So if you back to slide so it basically provides some of the commands by using those commands actually we can export data only, structure only or in case if you want to export all the databases then we can do also. MySQL provides a very useful tool for backing up or dumping MySQL databases locally on the server very fast. What basically it means? So if we back to our browser again. Now let's say that we have thousands of databases we have made to our server. If you want to export all the databases, simply we can just click on this export button. But remember, we have not thousands of databases. In that case, it will be slow to download. So how can we make a fast process to download all the databases on a single command? That's why phpMyAdmin or the MySQL dump tool provides some of the commands. By using those commands, we can actually export all the databases very fast to our system. Back to slides. The backup file is stored in the file system in the server, so you can just download it when needed. We will see in a bit that how can we store all the databases information to a particular file by using our commands and also we can use those files either for the download or for storing into our system. The MySQL term can be used to generate CSV, delimited or XML files. In this tutorial we will focus only on to how backup MySQL databases using MySQL dump tool. Using MySQL dump tool, we can generate either SQL file, either CSV file or any of the file format. But inside this video, we will discuss only about how can we generate about the databases informations using .sql file. So what is the syntax we have to follow for that? If you go to the next slide. So this slide basically tells you that how to back up a MySQL database. To back up a MySQL database, the database first has to exist in the database server. This is obviously, if you want to export any databases from this phpMyAdmin, first thing, first we need that, that database should exist inside this phpMyAdmin databases list. Let's say that our database now exists inside this phpMyAdmin. So what will be the next step that we have to follow? Back to our next slide. Now let's say that after that we have to make SSH login for that. Suppose in my case in this system we have only local database so we don't want any SSH login but remember if we want to download the file from any remote server so for that remote server to connect with the phpMyAdmin we want SSH detail. After getting SSH detail how can we log in if you back to our slide. Now this is the syntax that we have to follow. This is the syntax that we have to write inside the terminal. If you have the gedit command or any of the GUI tool then you can use this command to get back into your remote server. So this is ssh username at the rate and the host name. Let's say that in my case ssh root is the system let's say username and the password and let's say localhost 
It means that we are going to the remote server by using this username and the host name. In my local case system, this is localhost. In your case, suppose if you want to come connect with the remote server, so inside that, let's say that we have some IP. So this will be some IP. Okay, so by using this IP, actually we are going to connect with the remote server by using this username and the password. Now let's say that we have successfully connected with the remote server. Now how can we take the backup of our database? So this is the simple syntax that we have to follow. MySQL dump hyphen minus u username hyphen p password database name and this is the file name. Let's see about the action of this command into our terminal. So if you back to terminal, now if you have Windows system, you can download GAD tool or any of the tool to get back to your command. So let's say that we are going to actually export the database something called CI underscore admin panel. If you want to export this database from your PHP my admin, how can we do using terminal command? So let's say MySQL dump hyphen u this is for the username and after that we have to pass the username root is the username of our php my admin now next we have to pass called hyphen p for the password inside our php my admin the password is something root remember here is a space between the hyphen u and the username but inside password we have no space here after that we have to write about the database name so let's say that we want to export called ci underscore admin underscore panel this is the database we want to export and remember we are already inside this folder structure called html and the db export of folder it is after that we want to export the database so that's why we have used the greater than symbol here after that let's say that db backup dot sql file we want to export this database inside this file and this is the extension what we have discussed in our point number something like here we can generate any of the file by putting the extension here so if i press enter remember we have passed our password inside this command so if I press enter, as we can see that we have successfully generated that file. But remember, here we have a warning. Warning is that using a password on the command line interface can be insecure. So if I back to folder structure where we have generated this file, go here and this is the file that we have generated. So if I open this file or before open this file, so if I click on open with gedit, now inside this file that db sql, db backup dot sql, what the file name we have specified right here. Now inside this file, as we can see that we have the table structure, we have the data, as we can see that here is the insert command, scroll down, this is again we have a table and again we have data. So this is something like that. So by using this terminal command, we have successfully exported the database as well as the data inside those tables. Now again, we are going to export the same database called ci underscore admin underscore panel. But this time, we are not going to specify the password right here inside this command. So how can we dump that? We have to write the same syntax, let's say mysql dump hyphen u for the username hyphen p for the password but this time we are not going to pass the password right here so how can we write our command so hyphen p ci underscore admin underscore panel greater than symbol and let's say db let's say backup to dot sql so if i press enter it is asking for the password because we haven't passed yet inside this command so let's say that root is the password that i have typed if i press enter successfully we have generated that file inside this folder called db export if you back to folder structure now this is the file we have generated again if i open this file 
Now the same commands and the same structure we have exported right here what we have seen previously. If we back to terminal, now this is the command we have used to generate the structure as well as data of our database. Now let's say that we want to export only structure, no any insert command. If you again back to slide, this is the file we have generated and inside this slide, inside this file, this is the structure. And if you scroll down, this is the insert command that we have done. It means we have some data inside this table. That's why we have this command called insert. Let's say that we don't want any the insert command. We want only structure, no data of our database tables. So how can we do? Let's say MySQL dump hyphen u for the username hyphen v for the password and we have to use a flag for that and that, that flag something called no data it means that we are going to specify that we want only structure of our database tables no data and next we have to write our database name so let's say ci underscore admin underscore panel and this is the database backup so db backup 3 dot sql now if i press enter it is asking for the password root is the password if i press enter go to our folder structure now this is the file so if i open this file to our editor now inside this file we have only the created create table structure command no any insert command we have exported only structure inside this case we haven't exported any data about our database tables now let's say that in some cases we want only the data should be exported no structure we want suppose in any organization let's say that any senior wants that only the data should be exported from the database tables no structure we want to see so how can we do so mysql dump minus u username p, my hyphen p for the password and we want that no create statement so no create info after that we have to specify our database name greater than symbol and let's say db backup and let's say foo dot sql if i press enter asking for the password root is the password and i think that we have actually passed the wrong password again type the same command and the root is the password if i press enter successfully we have exported about the create info sorry only the data of this database table so if i back to folder structure this is the sql file open a new tab now inside this we have exported only the data of our respective tables no any create statements or or any structure of these tables so successfully guys we have seen that if we want to export any database from our php my admin either for the data or for the structure only we can also pass about the password inside the command or if you want to actually populate into password then we can also achieve that now let's say that we want that all the database we want to export inside all these commands what we have seen so far this is only for a single database we want all the database should be exported so how can we achieve this so if we remove all these commands so simply we can write mysql dump hyphen u for the username so root is that hyphen p for the password and we want all the database should be exported so for that we are going to use a flag something called all databases and greater than symbol lsdb backup and this is the i think the file name should be at let's four five dot sql if i press enter asking for the password root is the password pressing enter and successfully we have exported all the files all the database if you go to file structure and if i open into gedit 
it will be hanged for some time because the file size actually 1 MB because it has exported all the databases. So scroll down and the file is hanging because we have actually exported all the databases. Now let's say that I am going to open this file inside Atom Editor. Now if we back to Atom Editor, the file is successfully we have actually imported inside this editor. Now scroll down. Now this is CI underscore admin panel we have made inside our PHP My Admin. Again, if you search about the database something called let's say that WP virtual class, copy this DB name back to editor. If you want to search press enter. Now as we can see that here multiple commands actually using WP virtual class. It means we have successfully exported about this database also. If you again back here, open up and this is learn underscore coordinator. Again if you search about this database inside this file, we have options and as we can see that this is learn underscore coordinator we are actually exported. So successfully guys, we actually seen about all the things about exporting a single database with all flags as well as we had seen about if we want to export all the databases, we also exported that. So inside this video session guys, if you have any doubt, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.